everybody, and welcome to Keep Drawing. Today we're going to learn how to draw a zombie shark, just like this one. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with a long curved line that starts right about here and curves up like this. We'll make a little bump for the eye, and then we'll bring it up a little further toward the end of the noses. After that, Right here at the tip of the nose, we're going to bring this line down like this and then make it curve out for the upper jaw of the shark. Then I'm going to put another little bump right here for the lower jaw and bring it around like that. My next step is going to be the pectoral or side fin and I'm going to bring this line over for that. And then I'm going to go ahead and make some kind of raggedy edges on it since he's a zombie shark. And then bring it up like this. Okay, my next step is to make that fin a little wider up at the top. So I'll make another line here. Then I'm going to make the dorsal fin. So right here I'm going to put a little notch, and then I'm going to, once again, make this really rough looking tore up fin all the way up to here where the tip of it is, and then bend that line down to his back like that. And then I'm going to add a little depth to it right here as well. Okay, for my next step. I'm going to go ahead and make the surface of the water that goes along underneath the shark all the way over here to where the fin is. And so I'm going to make this squiggly line. It goes along like this. And then Put kind of the, the bottom or the shadow of the splashing and water droplets right here. And then I'm going to bring it out right about there. After that, I'm going to draw the surface of the water. In the background, it's kind of like a horizon with these little waves here. And now I have the basic outline of what I'm going to draw. So the next step is the mouth. So right here where the upper and lower jaw comes together, I'm going to make a line that kind of roughly bends right to about there. Then after that, I'm going to come right here and make this line bend upwards like this, and then curve down, like that. So then we need to make our eye. So I'm going to draw a circle right here, and I'm going to flatten it just a little bit, and then I'm going to put a little circle here. I'm going to leave that circle white because we're going to come back and make the center of it red. So I'm just going to color around that really quick. And I'll come back and clean that up a little bit later. Okay, now I'm going to make some more details. And I'm going to go ahead and make a dividing line that's going to separate the gray that's on the top of the shark from the white belly underneath. And I'm just going to bring this line down here like this. And after that, I'm going to put on his nostril, which is right about here.
I'm going to define this eye a little bit more. And I'm going to make a line right here for the lower jaw where it kind of bulges out a little bit. Over here on this side. And then a little more over here. For my next step, I'm going to start working on the mouth and the teeth. So right here in the corner, I'm going to draw another line. It comes up like this. in just a little bit here like this. This is going to be the zombie gum line. Down here we have another kind of bloody tear in the mouth. And then right here we're going to have some strange lines, kind of like for a lip or scar tissue. And I'm going to put a cut here and another cut right at the corner of his mouth. Now he looks pretty weird with that teeth, so we're gonna start on that. First I'm going to even out this line a little bit. Then we're gonna add some triangular teeth that point outward like this. Then I'm gonna go up to the top. have these long triangular teeth that are really exaggerated and continue them here down here at the bottom jaw I'm gonna have one tooth stick out like this it's kind of a cool look and I'm also gonna add a scar up here like this I'm gonna clean up the eye a little bit more And what you need to do next is color in the inside of the mouth. You really want that to be where whoever's viewing your art, that that's kind of where their eye goes. So we're gonna add some depth by coloring around the teeth. Just being kind of careful not to accidentally color over the top of them. Okay, so now you can see that I've skipped ahead a little. The mouth is totally colored in dark, and I've also made really dark outlines for more depth that go all the way around the shark, around the fins, and under the splash where he's bursting out of the water. I've also darkened underneath this jaw here a little bit, but I wanna add some more details, some more scars and scratches that really make this a zombie shark. So I'm gonna put two slash marks up here, and then his gills are actually going to be three big cuts. And they're going to be red on the inside when I'm done. So we'll do that. And I'll just look for, also for places around the mouth where I can put little lines to show where the teeth go into the gums. Some more scratches and cuts here. Maybe another one up here on the nose. And a couple underneath him like this. And a couple of open wounds over here. Now where the eye is, or I should say right behind the eye, I'm going to go ahead and bring down this line like that. And then push it off this way here. And then it's gonna curve in like this to the corner of his mouth. You might wanna add a few details like that of your own. I'm also gonna add a few water drops coming off the fins to show that he's moving. Along with some ripples. in the sea. Now, let me go ahead and move forward to a similar sketch, the same sketch of the same subject, but here you can see the next step, which is coloring the gum line red, coloring that little circle inside the eye red as well. The inside of the gills now are also red, and anywhere where you have kind of a wide or open cut should also be red. In your final step, much like a great white shark, we're gonna color the top gray and leave everything else white. I also encourage you to 
go ahead and color the ocean around here because the, uh, the blue really uh, works well with the gray, white, and red. So that's our zombie shark. Uh, if you found this video helpful and worth your time, I'd appreciate a like or a subscribe. And thanks for watching.